preposterous fouls that left us all gasping for breath. Make sure you watch till the end for the worst foul in history of football. Hold on to your seats, folks. Our journey begins in the 2010 World Cup. In any match, anywhere, the sort of flying studs to the chest kick that Dutch midfielder Nigel de Jong lay on Xabi Alonso is a clear and obvious red card. After committing one of the most flagrant fouls in World Cup history, de Jong was shown just a yellow. Referee Howard Webb explained afterward that his view of the challenge had been obstructed because he was behind the lines. He, unlike a billion television viewers across the globe, couldn't see from his vantage point how violent the tackle had been. With VAR still eight years away, De Jong stayed on the field. But an explosive start to our countdown. Moving on to the 1982 World Cup, when it comes to notable instances of violence in the world of soccer, it's challenging to forget the infamous incident involving Harold Schumacher's assault on Patrick Battison during the 1982 World Cup semifinal clash between West Germany and France. The semifinal match left an indelible mark for several reasons. But sadly, the most prominent among them was the severe injury sustained by Patrick Batista which resembled the aftermath of a car accident. The two players raced towards the ball, approaching from opposite directions, with the Frenchman reaching it first. In a reckless move, Schumacher launched himself at Batista, essentially leaping into the defender's face. The consequences were nothing short of catastrophic. Batista lost three teams, suffered damage to his spine, and fell into a coma. He lay motionless as he was carried off the field on a stretcher. After the match, Schumacher made a callous remark to Batista, saying, I'll cover his dental bills. A statement that added a painful twist to an already painful incident. Now is all that's left to be said. Hold on to your hats because we're diving into the moment that defined Eric Cantona's career. During an away match against Crystal Palace, Cantona found himself in a heated confrontation that ultimately led to his suspension. The referee set him off for kicking Palace defender Richard Shaw, who had been marking Cantona throughout the game, causing immense frustration. As Cantona headed towards the tunnel, he unexpectedly launched a Kung Fu style kick into the crowd, directed at Crystal Palace fan named Matthew Simmons. Simmons had gone to great lengths rushing down 11 rows of stairs to confront Cantona and hurl abusive language at him. Simmons was alleged to have used profane language, telling Cantona to f*** off back to France, you French bastard. In response, Cantona followed up the kick with a series of punches. The incident resulted in a widely anticipated lengthy ban from the game. Some critics even went as far as calling for Cantona's deportation for a lifetime football ban in England. Wow, that was some serious and dangerous football right there. Why don't we lighten up a bit? I think you already know what the next foul is about. Then a 21-year-old up-and-coming local defender, Taylor, went full Jack Nicholson in his approach to keeping the ball out of the magpie's net. Executing an incredible Hollywood performance, he received a red card, yet his theatrical exit is remembered as much as the foul itself. This was also not well received by the audience. Just when you think things can't get any crazy for Newcastle, put on your hat. After two penalties and the Oscar winning performance by Steven Taylor, it was all too much for Boyer. Who believed that teammate Dyer was intentionally not giving him the ball. With around 10 minutes to go, Boyer confronted Dyer. He responded by saying, The reason I don't pass to you is because you're shit. It was ballsy stuff from the injury prone midfielder. He must have been unaware of Boyer's troublesome off pitch history, which included multiple arrests for violent incidents. London born Boyer didn't react kindly, approaching Dyer menacingly, pushing his head towards his teammate's face. With Dyer seemingly making the first aggressive arm movement, prompting two consecutive punches from Boyer. Dyer then appeared to be on the verge of a retaliative punch. The players from both teams arrived to intervene and Boyer was dragged away from the field with his shirt ripped 
Bones at the neck. Both fighters were sent off, leaving Newcastle to finish the match with eight players. And it gets more intense than this. Just wait. But before we unveil the top three, let's take a trip down the comical lane. Revolto at the corner flag. A masterclass in the art of deception. His theatrics against Turkey became an internet meme before the memes even became the lead. It was a blatant act of simulation that left the world in stitches. Fasten your seatbelts because we're heading into a game against Arsenal. Sheffield Wednesday's Paolo De Canio was facing a red card. Incensed, he pushed referee Paul Alcock, who dramatically fell to the ground. This incident is particularly ironic because of the severity of the player's action against an official and the referee's theatrical fall, sparking debates about respect and conduct in football. You might have heard of David Beckham. David Beckham may have retired from soccer in 2013, but he remains one of the most famous sports people on the planet. In his latest Netflix series, Beckham, he admitted the controversial red card during the 1998 World Cup left him clinically depressed, as well as being labeled the most hated man in Britain for years. The moment came when Beckham kicked the Argentinian player very intentionally. England went on to lose the game after a penalty shootout. England was eliminated from the competition as a result, and Beckham faced heavy backlash back home. The English fans and media put the Beckhams in media hell for a very, very long time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to dive into the heart of the action. We're counting down the fouls that left us speechless. And at number two, we have a jaw-dropping moment involving the Real Madrid defender, Pepe. This incident led to a mind-boggling 10-match suspension. It all went down during a heated clash against Getafe. Picture this, a 3-2 win at the Santiago Bernabeu, and Pepe found himself in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Things took a turn for the worse when he received a red card for his actions. Now what exactly went down? Well, Pepe brought Javier Cascaro down inside the penalty area. But hold on, that wasn't the end of it. Not by a long shot. This situation escalated to a whole new level of chaos. Pepe, while Cascaro was down on the ground, decided to stomp and kick him. Yeah, you heard that right. It got ugly, folks. But wait, there's more. Pepe was slapped with a jaw-dropping 10-match suspension, marking a dark chapter in his career. The moment you've all been waiting for. Do you remember bad boy Joey Barton? Barton plays as a midfielder for Queens Park Rangers. He played for Manchester City from 2002 to 07, where he received 39 bookings and three red cards. Oh boy! But today we'll take a deep dive into the notorious meltdown during a match against Manchester City. In the 2012 game, there was a knee to Aguero, an attempt to headbutt company, and a scuffle with Balotelli, all in a day's work. During a pivotal game, Barton's loss of control against Aguero, company, and Balotelli resulted in a 12-match ban. He was later stripped of his captaincy and fined him six weeks' wages on Monday for his violent conduct. You can't say we were surprised given Barton's long history of volatile behavior. In December 2004, Barton had another row with a 15-year-old Everton fan in Bangkok and was fined eight weeks' wages by City. A few weeks later, he was arrested after a violent argument with the taxi driver. He was then suspended by City after punching teammate Guzman Dabo during training later led to a suspended jail sentence and the FA suspending him for six games. Sounds like someone needs a therapist. There you have it, the top 10 most outrageous fouls in football history. Which one left you in the most disbelief? Let us know in the comments below and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more heart-pounding football content.